Here is how you can create a vertical calendar that looks and operate like this. For the very first date in the calendar, we're going to say equal date. And the first argument on the function will be year, as in B3. And the second argument will be the month, at cell C3. And the third argument, since this is the very first day of the month, we're going to say 1, close parenthesis, and hit enter. For the subsequent date at cell B7, we're going to use this formula. This formula handle cases where we are only showing dates for the same month and then apply the same formula for the rest of the row until the 31st itself. For the weekday, we're going to say equal text, B6, get the date, and the second argument will be AAA, which is an abbreviated name for day of the week, and then apply the same formula for the rest of the rows. Next, we'll color the weekend cells so that we can distinguish them from regular weekdays. You're going to select cell C6 to C36, and you go home style, conditional formatting, manage rule, and you're going to say new rules, and use formula to determine cell to format, and you're going to use this formula. This formula essentially looks for Saturday and Sunday, and then we're going to format, build tab, and basically change the color of the field to orange, and click OK twice. Next, we'll create a drop-down list for year using data validation. The steps are as shown on the screen. And for the month, we're going to add a spin button by going to developer, control, insert. And under the form control, there's a spin button. Place the spin button somewhere here. Right click on your spin button and click on format control. Select control tabs. And then under current, we're going to assign one minimum value as one, maximum value as 12, and cell link as C3. And we're going to press the enter key twice. And then you are done.